Thank you guys again for joining me. And today we're talking about the final expansion of the shared dream. And this one's called Wrath of the Axitath. Again, you need the baseboard game to play this. So let's take a look at the back and see what it has to say. It requires the shared dream board game to play, as we just said. Read a little bit about it. It says the Orned Horror of Lorona lays waste to the walking world in the Wrath of Axitath. Every step Axitath takes is a deadly one as it destroys the city and threatens players' lives with its every move. Featuring the 85mm tall Axitath miniature Wrath of Axitath is an adventure too big for the walking world alone. Force Axitath back from whence he came and defeat him in his home world before it destroys everything in its sight. Nothing is safe from the Wrath of Axitath, including an 85 millimeter tall Axitath miniature and a bunch of other stuff. Again, this came out in 2017. This expansion is for two to four players. It lasts 60 to 90 minutes and you should be ages 15 plus. And it's from Odem Publishing. Okay. Big box compared to the rest. Very, very, very big box. So if I put it up there real quick. Another unboxing we did, which was for Necrophobia. There's that box, as you can see. Much bigger than that box. Bigger than this one, the Shared Dream. Night Terrors, another expansion. Ah, about the same size. Shared Dream, the Crux Collection expansion. And again, we're not, but we're not talking about those today. We're talking about the Wrath of Axodown. All right. Let's crack this bad boy open and see what it's all about. Of course, rule book. Nice thin rule book. Not many pages at all. Love to see that. Title page. Component list, new locations, companions, personal reflections, Wrath of Axitath, new enemies, Axitath himself, ruined spaces, reaching the orphanage, moving on to a player, demon and demon spawns, nightmare tests, war tokens, Laruna, the Laruna map, Anima and Lorna, movement, recruiting an army, armies of Laruna, army movement, attacking Axitath, Special Actions, Terrain, Army Death, Axitath and Lorna, Axitath Movement, Axitath Attacks, Wrath of Axitath, Defeating Axitath. And of course in the back, more information, more stuff you could buy from, again, Odam Publishing. You want to check them out, www.odampublishing.com. There it is. They got a Facebook page, they got a Twitter page. Check them out, throw them a couple likes. All right, that's your rule book. Your scenario card when you're in Lorna. Objective, required locations, additional setup, starting taint, personal reflections, night phase, and of course your victory conditions. The Wrath of Axitath. Objective, required locations, additional setup, starting taint, personal reflections, night phase, victory. Again, both the cards, nothing on the back, only on the front. Okay. Of course, then, we have the information about Axitath himself. Combat, 14, huge numbers. Movement, one space at a time. Once Axitath's nightmare track is full, it immediately moves once. Its nightmare track is then emptied. Axitath does not spawn a demon after moving in this way. Nothing on the back, but there it is. Tokens and standees, here they are. High quality, good stuff. Comes out very easily, as you can see on the bottom here. Artwork on both the front and the back. Nicely done. That's an adjustment from the original box set for the core game. Oh, there we go. They're easily placed right back in, but you see how easily they're popping right out? All right, but you put them back in just as easy. 
All right, let's see what else is inside this box. You see, we got some cards. And we'll get to the figure itself. Dandies. Get those guys. Pop them right in there. You got it. Nice and easy. Lots of tiles this time. The other expansions, maybe four or five tiles per each game. This one here, lots. Front only, nothing on the back, but that's okay. Nexus, street, street, moon shield, street, the inn, highland, dark cargo eighth, Ranath, orphanage, ruined warehouse, a ruined park, ruined darks, ruined library, ruined hospital. Looks like the whole place is ruined. Ruined downtown, ruined Melisandre's Alley, ruined Bottoms Up Bar. Now, if you listen, if you notice the names are here, all these names are mentioned and all the other core the core box and also the other expansion so this is the city that actually comes with them but again this is like an alternate reality an alternate universe so you don't want acts to have to come to the actual universe that you live in so you want to stop it before he's able to get through the portal and come and destroy the actual world that you and i would live in all right so this is his world that he's in the ruined bottoms up bar not quite sure what that's for Of those kind. Again, I haven't played this expansion yet, but I definitely will be getting to it. Let's move the box up a little bit. As always, <clears throat> personal reflection cards. Okay, the orphanage, 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 library, park, hospital, downtown, starting point. So let's see. Let's see what says here. The Eastern Ward, your reflection starts at the DCMA headquarters. It's all hands on deck at the HQ this morning. Listening into the office chatter, you learn that every anima in the city was ripped out of their sleep the moment that Axtath appeared. The effects are evident, as half of those around you are scurrying about erratically, and the other half are disheveled and barely able to stay awake. Senior Agent McCann notices you and walks purposely towards you. About time. This giant demon is causing havoc in the city and we d won't last long. Our protective wards have failed and we need outside help. Skilled outside help. If anyone can help us, it's someone who claims to be an angel. Go find Melisandre and ask her to help us with the wards. Your reflection continues at Melisandre's alley. The bodies, bottoms up bar, another orphanage, ruined docks, ruined park, warehouse. So it tells you where you play the cards. Start, orphanage, another start card, ruined library, the docks. You get it. You don't need to go over it. As you can tell, beautiful artwork, lots and lots of cards. The demon combat card. Let's take a look at this. So again, you got the standees. You don't actually have figures for that. It would have been cool. It would have been better if they would have had the figures for them. Small company, you know, it's okay. Maybe down the road they'll release some. Combat six, movement three, special ability. Place one demon essence on the sending dream fragment when the demon is defeated. Maybe that's what this thing is. Maybe that's it, the sending dream fragment. Maybe that's what that is. Not sure. We'll figure it out once we start setting up the board. Okay. Demon combat card, another demon. Specialty, place one demon essence on it. Same things we just read. All right, another demon. Another demon. Okay. The Fa of Mool Shield. Recruiting the Fae of Mool Shield requires a magic test in order to be able to communicate in the Fae language. It also requires a social test to convince them you can face axe attack. So this is an extra help. There's no figures for them, but they do have standees for them that represent them. There it is right there. There's one right there. This guy just popped out. Okay. 
asking anything in the back. Cafe Moon Shul. Obviously, you get some dice and put the, not dice, but the, the little counters that you put up into there. Magic Test Result, Army Combat, 0, 4, 7, 8, 10. As an action, remove two wounds from any other player army on your space. Plus three combat, two combat when defending. Regenerate, automatically remove one wound at the beginning of your turn. That's cool. Ranath Fire Guard, again. Recruiting the Ranath Fire Guard requires two magic tests before they will trust you to command them. Army combat, army health. You can attack Axatath from up to one space away. Fury can attack twice when on the same space as Axatath, plus two combat, two combat when defending. Gareth Warband. Recruiting a Gareth Warband requires two combat tests to win control of the band from its warlord. Okay, and we're up there. Once per phase, you may take one wound to increase your movement from one to two. It's a minus two to combat and a plus two to combat with these tokens on it. Taunt. Uh, if Axtath is adjacent to you, take an action to move it onto your space. All right. And the Sentinels of Highland. Recruiting the Sentinels of Highland requires a social test to rally them to fight for your cause. It also requires a combat test to prove your mettle to lead them in battle. So they're obviously hardened warriors. And you got to prove that you're a great warrior before they'll listen to you. All right, that's pretty cool. Social test, combat test. All other player armies on your space gain plus two combat. Minus two combat when defending. Taunt, if Axtath is adjacent to you, take an action to move it onto your space. Plus two combat when defending. All right, we got some mini cards here. That I usually have them open before. Just had to open it up real quick. Again, a bunch of mini cards. I oh, got turned the right way. Larunian artifacts, Wrath of Axetath, Companions. Okay. Descending, let's see what this thing says. It's not the easiest cards to read because they have a lot of artwork on them, which are beautiful artwork, but at the same time, it's a little hard to read these things. The Enchanted Horde may be the only hope of sending Axtath back to Laruna. Demonic Essence is drawn into it. Place this card face up on the orphanage. Anytime a demon is defeated, place one demon essence token on this card. Larunian Artifacts. Bracers of Defense. These ornamented bracers enhance your movements, making it easier to guard against incoming attacks. Your army gains plus three combat when defending. All right, that's cool. And Rack, Wrath of Axtat. Blast Wave. The hard, uh, the Horned Horror emitted a powerful wave of force knocking us back and burning those who stood closest. All armies take one wound and are moved one space away from Axtat in the direction of the player's choosing. Okay, so this companion here. A wounded Melisandra. Melisandra has injured her wings and picked up a few bruises in scuffle. Whatever it was, you'd rather not know. Plus two social, plus two combat. Whenever you would draw an artif artifact, instead draw two and keep one. All right. So there you go. Those are your cards. And of course, the last thing, the big boy comes out. Axe attack himself. So he's pretty big. He leans a bit forward, put it in the hot water, just bend him back and he'll be fine. If you notice that I bend him back when you 
he stays there, but then eventually he starts leaning back in again. But that's a cool mini. I'll bring him a little closer. Definitely a cool mini. Definitely a bad boy. All right. And it looks like that wraps up another video. Again, we're talking about the Share Dream final expansion. Thank you for joining us. If you enjoyed the video, hit a like on the bottom. Be safe, be well, be blessed. See you at the next video. Have a great day.